My name is Marjorie Hernandez and together with Fabian Vogelsteller, we are the founders of Luxo. The purpose behind Luxo is to bring blockchain technology to its next frontier. We believe that is mainstream adoption. In the moment we started Luxo, we knew in order to actually bring billions of users to utilize blockchain technology, we need to bring the technology beyond DeFi. And that's what we're doing with Luxo. We're focusing on mainstream applications, things that everybody wants to use and make them excited about it. And even to the point that they don't even need to know that they are working or utilizing blockchain technology. So how we're going to do that? So basically we are bringing digital and physical consumer goods to the blockchain. We are creating the infrastructure and the standards to enable consumers, producers, designers, and creators to use the blockchain. This is coming up next year. So once we launch our mainnet, our main network is coming, uh, fingers crossed, in the spring of 2021. And together with the launch of the mainnet, we're also going to launch the world's first digital fashion wallet. It's a place where you can hold your digital fashion goods, your digital art, digital sneakers, your tokens, tokens from brands, your own personal tokens, issuing tokens from influencers and things like that. So it's going to be the first time we're going to utilize all of these concepts. They are very well known in the blockchain space and they're coming now to basically this new arena of the digital lifestyle. There are different benefits for Luxo. I think one big part is obviously from more like an infrastructure layer, the brands can not fight but have a solution for the counterfeit issue. Right? We will have truly unique items, physical and digital. Um, also for consumers like any of us, you know, we have a better control of what we are owning of our things. We have access, we have a great overview, so it really brings security to all of those beautiful things you're purchasing, they have a high value, you really have the true digital and physical ownership. One of the huge benefits that Luxo provides for brands and customers is basically what we think is the holy grail, which is access, right? As a consumer, the moment you purchase an item, it should be the beginning of the relationship and not the end. And with the blockchain, what you can do is perpetuate that relationship in which brands can always reach the first and the second and the third owner of an item. You can access, you can incentivize them to purchase, you can send them invitations, and you as a customer get the benefits, even if you are the third owner of a specific item. But what we actually need for uh, living and being able to exist in this world, we need universal profiles. Our current internet presence, our current digital presence is completely scattered around different social platforms, um, very dispersed, you obviously have no control over that. Uh, you know, platforms close, your account is gone. Um, the world that we have um, right now relies on email and password, you know, it's the worst user experience you can have. But these digital unified profiles are also important for companies and players that want to issue items, that want to interact in a verifiable way in this new digital world. The world of tomorrow is not only like watching into your phone, which is our current digital exploration we have, but we will actually move towards completely digital virtual stateful worlds. Virtual reality will play a very big part in the coming future, like purely digital clothes. Not sure if you have ever heard about that, but digital fashion is actually starting to become a thing. So this is actually wearing digital clothes. That can even be translating then to your avatars and your players, and obviously to your virtual reality space. The next generation, my kids, and you know, when we look around ourselves, they're already digital natives. They grow up with iPhones and iPads. They grow up with computers. For them, this is not something new that happened in the 90s for most people. This is something they experience as babies already in a way. The consumer will not really know when he's using the blockchain, except that he knows that the onboarding will be faster and easier, it will be more seamless, your identity will be transferable from one 
device from one system to the other. You take your things with you at all times because you are in charge of your identities and of your things. You will use it in your phone, you will use it in, on the web, you will use it in your computer as applications, you will use it in physical items like in chips in your handbags or in new hardware devices which will come out. But uh, the infrastructure and the underlying basis will be the Luxor network.